viewers welcome to my channel so today's tutorial is inspired by Karina Kapoor look watch the look what she is wearing in the movie Veere the Wedding and in the song Tarifa so let's get started first and foremost is the skin preparation what we are doing with a facial oil we are hydrating the skin Skin hydration is very much necessary when you are starting a makeup. Skin should be completely hydrated before using any base. After hydrating the skin, the next step is primer. I am using a LA Girl primer. I am using a primer with a flat brush. After priming the skin, now is the color correction. I am using Dama color D30. A bit on the forehead also. Now blending the color properly into the skin After the color correction, now is the base time. So I'm using Kiku Milano. I'm using a liquid foundation, full coverage foundation. Blending the product with a base brush. After the base application, now is highlighting and contouring. So I am doing highlighting with the LA Girl highlighter. So I'm starting to blend the dark color first. After blending the dark color, now is the highlighting tone. For big areas, I am using a flat big brush. For eye area, I am using a damp sponge. I'm just applying a loose powder below the eyes because I'm going to start with the eye makeup. The eye makeup is also very natural. It, it's a soft cut crease look. That's what I'm going to create now. We'll start with paint pot of MAC. After 
after the matte paint pot now is time to highlight i'm using a very soft creamish color for a highlighting tone just to highlight the eyebrows it's a huda palette and the color is moonlight color now with the blending brush i'm doing a soft cut crease look just starting with a crease line the makeup what karina is wearing is eye makeup is very soft very nude the same look we are creating here after the crease line now is a creamy color on the eyeball area it's a nude white color on that creamy color i am using the same highlighter which i have used earlier the same color moonlight now again blending both the colors the crease line color and the highlighted color now after the highlighting color i am using a mac it's it's about shine the name is it's about shine it's a new addition it's mainly just for highlighting i'm just highlighting the eyeball area now after highlighting the eyeball area now is the gel liner i'm using a color essence gel liner it's smudge proof and very soft to apply now karina is wearing a double crease eyeliner the same will create here now is the lower lash now for lower lid i'm using a creamy eye shadow first and on it i'm using a brown color a sandalwood color of huda palette i'm just blending it with a lower liner just to create a soft look and using a lighter shade at the inner corner and with a brush with a zero number brush i'm just giving a complete look to the double wing liner for the inner eyelid i'm using a skin color tone pencil now we are putting the eyelashes close your eyes
After the lower lid, we're just finishing the eyeliner, giving it a complete look. Open your eyes. Just giving a finished look, a complete look with a liquid eyeliner. Earlier we have used a gel eyeliner. On it we are using a liquid eyeliner. This is a VOV eyebrow filler. I'm mixing two colors and just using on the eyebrows, giving it a proper shape. So next, now is the time for contouring the face with a contouring palette. It's a makeup studio palette. We have already contoured the face earlier. Now we are using a powder contour on it. on the forehead in the movie Karina has used a strong blush on so I'm using a pink and a peach mixture smile, smile. just using on the apple area Eyes are nude and a strong blush on with a bold lip color. After the blush on, now is the time to highlight the face. I am using a nude color highlighter. Now the same the color the Karina is wearing, I am using a bright pink plum color mix mixture. Now giving a complete finished look with a mascara, okay. just using the primer first on the lower, lower lashes, on it we are using a black mascara giving a complete look to the eyes okay. and just blending the two eyelashes, the original lashes and the fake lashes we have used. Now my model is completely ready so you can have a look and give your judgement did you like the look or not.